But yeah. Let's ask the audience. Hey, what's Homestuck? <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to tell Josh that there there is a there's a trifecta. There's, there's a trifecta of autistic fan bases, and of course, nobody's gonna argue My Little Pony and Sonic. The third one is Homestuck. I, 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 I can I can agree with you. I don't really know what Homest Homestuck is, but the thing is, is like there's something in the back of my mind that's more autistic than Homestuck. I don't know. It, probably, you know, it's probably I'm probably just thinking about furries in general. That's way too big to be to be in, in the. Fur, furries. It's just like too broad. It's too yeah, it's too broad. Yeah, okay. I understand. So that. Fucking furries love Sonic, and My Little Pony. I don't That's know about true. Homestuck, but. So where's this hole of heroes? Uh. Dang, Julian. <laughs> this is the starting area in Pikmin with the very yeah. the crash site. Yeah. Yeah, he's got these ramps to go up the trees. Yep. Oh. Um. Recent. I don't know. If, we didn't talk about this yet. I don't think. But uh, they found files in the Pikmin One ISO where um, you can actually run the game on Windows. It was used for debugging purposes back when, like, developer kits were 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 like hard to. They were in low supply or something, so they just, uh... But yeah, like, you can actually get it to work now. You just have to download a, a, a DLL, and, uh... Like, it, is it the full game that runs? No. But the game the game itself play is playing on Windows, but it's just buggy and it doesn't run correctly. Oh, okay. Like, you, you can run around in the beginning crash site. And then it crashes when the day ends, but... But yeah, I mean, it's still... There's a Windows EXE file, like, in the root of the disk. Which is, that's neat. And, like, if you want, you can just download a couple of files and then play that. And you're not emulating it, you're natively running it on Windows. Cacho! 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 It's Cacho, man. I'm playing. Just in case you didn't know. We're getting our, our pigment on. Because like he's like the Cacho, Cacho from 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 Game Center CX. I don't know what that is. You don't know Game Center CX? No, I don't know what a Cacho is. Cacho is the chief. What's a chief? You don't know what a chief is? What's an is? <laughs> I've watched a couple of episodes. Okay. Yeah, but he's a good. I like him. I like watching him play games. All I know is. Did you know that fucking uh, Tommy Wiseau has a gaming channel? Oh yes, the Tommy Wiseau show. show, where he like talks to this alien while he's playing his. Did you see him play Dark Souls? Yeah, I think I've seen every episode. He's like, I like this. Alien, why don't you tell me why you keep me in here playing games? <laughs> it's so stupid. It's the dumbest shit I've ever seen. He does not know how to use both analog sticks at the same time in any game. <laughs> like in Duke Nukem Forever, it's move and then look around, move and then look around. It's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. It's frustrating. It's so frustrating. It's frustrating. I messed up the microphone. Don't do that. Don't tell me what to do. My pants keep falling down. Okay. Oh, the youth of today. <laughs> Always with their fucking falling down pants. But I don't have a belt. My there. belt went missing. I hate belts. I love them. They're just more... They keep my pants up. Because I... Mitch Hedberg joke. <laughs> what? The, be the belt holds up your pants, and but the <laughs> belt loops hold up the belt. Who's the real hero here? <laughs> Ugh. Mitch Hedberg's funny. When's the next time he's gonna, like, come out with the new stuff? Ugh. I don't know how to tell you this. <laughs> <laughs> he overdosed on uh, Flintstones. Flintstones chewable <laughs> gummies. <laughs> um, I don't know if there's like a single. I guess like Dimitri Martin is like the closest you're gonna get to Mitch Hedberg again. 
I think Steven Wright, he doesn't really, he's like, they, all three of them have that same delivery where it's just like one liners and stuff like that. I, I like him though. Um. Oh, way to fucking go. I thought I had the thing. What thing? The the, the suit for uh for electricity. Uh, electricity. Yeah, that one. We call it Scranton! Scranton the Electric City! I'm probably gonna watch The Office after I finish Trailer Park Boys, because I watch it like at least twice a year. I watched through it twice. That's about it. I watch the I watch The Office a lot because it's something I can watch like all the time. Like I, I will take like a few months break after watching it and then go back to it. I remember seeing like this weird deviant art picture of Garrus tied down in uh, Dwight's barn. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see if I can find this. And <laughs> I gotta... he's like spreading honey on Garrus's feet. <laughs> and he's got like a goat licking it, and they're all—they're both tickling Garrus to get to learn his secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find it? <laughs> Dwight and Moe's. And Garrus says, "Garrus says, ha ha, ugh." Those beats are vile. <laughs> it's beats. gonna be on the screen. <laughs> Those beats are vile. Enough with this ah, tickling. Please stop his. I'm an explorer, not an invader. <laughs> Dwight, we will find out soon enough. Where's your attack feet? What are your plans for Earth? Most feet of another beat. <laughs> <laughs> Is that his DeviantArt page? Um... Because... Shroot by Foxy Paws 86 O'Garris inter in interrogated He spelled it wrong By Dwight Shroot By Foxy Paws 86 Look at his other stuff I'm pretty sure he has other stuff that's just as hilarious With Garrus <laughs> Okay, this guy, he does not have homing missiles so he's a little bit more of a hassle. Oh my god! Holy hell! What am I supposed to be up here? How did you? What the fuck just happened? He just recoiled me. He like he launched me up here. Whoa! I'm not supposed to be up here. I'm not supposed to be up here. I'm breaking the game. You are. There's a wall. I can't go. Ooh. I love being able to like do stuff like this. Uh, I found a, a a glitch in Jack Three, where like you can w when you get Infinite Light Jack, uh, you can you can basically fly forever once you get the ability to fly and the and you have the shield. Like oh, all you, all you do is X X and then circle and then X X circle and you can just fly infinitely. And if you do that in in Haven City, you'll actually find a. Uh, a little room, uh, a little square room, just kind of away from everybody, or like away from the city. Like you have to kind of fly a little bit, and you go in there, and there's like a picture of the developers all just like giving thumbs up. So yeah. like I don't know if they knew about the glitch or they just wanted to put that in there for some reason. They did that in Psychonauts. There was a uh, in like the area where you play as like a giant Godzilla kind of thing. There's a part where you can clip the camera in just a certain way to find one of the developers and his girlfriend or something. Hmm. I liked uh, finding ways to get out of the map in Metroid Prime. That was always fun. Fucking Half-Life. <laughs> finding out the no-clip sheet. Uh oh. That was fun because then you'd find like the room with just Brain's torso, and you're like, why the fuck's that there? <laughs> Why, why is that? And then you learn that that's how the monitors worked. Yep. Like they're like a camera, they're like an actual camera on location. What did What did you? Yeah, the source engine's actually really neat with all that stuff, and that's why Gary's mod is so neat. Yeah, it saves space as well. You, uh, don't, you don't have to have an have an MP4 pile playing on the thing. Yeah, it's really smart. Um, 
How? What? What? Ways are get out of the map in Metroid Prime? Uh, I know in the snow level there's this area where uh there's like these fountains all around. Yeah, you. yeah, I know, I know that part you're talking uh, about. Uh, that's that's where I got out. There was a way you could jump into the fountains and like out of the map. Huh? There's a whole website dedicated to like specifically Metroid Prime getting out of the map. I'm sure they took out a lot of that from the trilogy, though, right? I don't know. The only thing I know that they took out from the trilogy was a particle effect in the wave beam. What? There's like like some like one little missing particle effect from the wave beam that people complain about. That's weird. I know they also lowered some of the difficulty in Echoes. Cause I'm not. I'm, I, I I will say it. Echoes was a very hard game. I had it on the GameCube, and. The Boost Ball Guardian gave me a ton of fucking trouble, and then I played. Well, I'm playing. I played through it um, on the on the trilogy, and I beat him my first try. So like, I don't know. Yeah, see, we weren't gonna beat this. I called it. I'm on bamboo. Why are you even getting treasure? I don't know. That's not the focus of this anymore. The focus is to Conifer save Spire. Conifer. Oh, is this it? I think that's the Hall of Heroes. Hope so. Oh, that's the Hall of Beasts. Ugh. But it might. That might be the last one, too. Uh. Oh, it is the Hall of Heroes. The Hall of Heroes. Okay, so, uh, what is all this about? Boom, 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 boom. Oh god, this is all scary. It's too sp Oh wait, this is the starting area too. I was already in here though. Oh, I could just walk in. It's the longest cave in the game. Here, 15 here, sub levels. Here's the area where you fight, uh, that's where you fought the, uh, Mamuta. Oh. In the first game, and then you came up here, and there's the clams over here. Oh, yeah. But then this wasn't here. This goes to the last level. And this is where, like, water was, and you cross that bridge and stuff. Huh. And this is the this is that bridge that you carried the fire pigment through to get past everything. That's neat. I like it when games revisit stuff like that. I can't think of a lot of good examples, though. Somebody... seems irritated. I don't think... I don't think Louie's in this one. In the Hall of Heroes. He's not? No. From what I'm reading, it's not him. Find the Hall of Beasts. I just don't want to, you know, go to the wrong one. Because I want to play a different game. <laughs> as much as I do enjoy this game. Yeah. Uh, the boss of Hole of Beasts is Empress Bullblax. Again. Again. Third time. Jesus Christ, Nintendo. Rehashing. Uh, Am I right? What's the final boss? What's he called? I don't know. He's a big, like, spider thing, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, Pikmin to Louis. Louis' dark secret. Oh, it's an unlockable movie. Um. Search final boss, Pikmin two. Shh. Shh. Titan Dweeble. Yeah, that's it. Um, Titan Dweevil is in the Dream Den. The Dream Den? Yeah. Where's that? That is this level, right? Dream Den is in Wistful Wild. Okay. In the far western ends. Located to the far left of the landing site, across the lake, and behind a poison gate. Okay. There you go. 
zero Pikmin lost. Good job. And uh, I got like 20 fucking, 30, 31 Pikmin. Neat. <coughs> oh. Louie, we suddenly stopped hearing from you. Don't do that. Everything okay? If things get tough, Don't you can that. always come home. Why are you reading I'll shit? I'll stock up on those pink pink carries you have. Did he eat Pikmin? Give me them. Here you go, bye. Bazizzle. Did you say zizzle? Bazizzle. Did you say zizzle without a word? You just want it to... Bazizzle. Bazizzle.